up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are down in Montgomery, California at Fort Ord Military Base. Now this base was decommissioned in 1994. This is actually like a 45 square mile base, so it's huge. There's jails, swimming pools, housing for all the military, everything. But on our way in, we realized that the only place that isn't completely guarded by police, because this is directly next to a police station, which we just found out, five minutes ago are like the, the barracks, the places where they're, they're sleeping. There's so many no trespassing and barbed wire fences that we don't know what we're gonna be able to get you, so it'll be a surprise. Yeah, we don't even know if we can get in, but we usually find a way in eventually. But there's 45 square miles of this place, so we're gonna give you something. Yeah, we're so gonna find something, don't let's you worry. Let's freaking explore. So we're coming up on it. Here's the first entrance that doesn't have the no trespassing signs, but as you can see, it's huge. Building on building on building all the way down. This was a base basically for American soldiers to live and train, work and go swimming, eat and crap and everything. Like they did everything here. We were looking up other videos for this place and there are old veterans that are saying that they grew up here, that There's they our entrance. learned how to swim. Oh, here we go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> when this video is posted, I bet a lot of people for the military will see this and be like, oh, I used to actually live here or I was stationed here for many years. Yeah, comment down below if you have, because that's pretty cool. There's no trespassing and there's a police right next to us. Where's the police guy? True, let's just go. Instantly set off a trip. Holy crap. Yo, we made it to the kitchen. Dude, this place is giant. Dude, this is just one room. This night set the new bar of largest abandoned place ever. An seen. entire campground for the military, and it was all abandoned. You would think they'd like demolish it or something. I know. All the comments I've seen is like, why wouldn't they take all these buildings and make it useful for something? Like, they could make apartment buildings or anything like that, but they just. Have it rotting like this. And people would like to explore. <laughs> they probably were just thinking, they were like, hmm, instead of demolishing it, why don't we just put a police station right next to it so nobody goes in there? Like, nobody would do that if there's police right next to it. We're, yeah, nobody would go in. We're, we're, we're doing it. We didn't film that part, but uh -huh. there's like three police officers that just passed us on the way in here. Like while we were walking on the street, they were just driving, like patrolling the streets, so. Yeah, and that's like right on this edge. Oh. Dude, there, yeah, there's open windows. The streets are right there. Somebody just got super angry at this wall. Was just like, duh, duh. Well, they, they had some success. <laughs> see foot marks like. Oh, yeah, I hate this wall. <laughs> Whoa. Holy. Everyone gets their 15 minutes of fame. Except for Sam and Colby. And I was like, <laughs> You get 15 minutes every single week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I love people's graffiti. I love you, Mom. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> truly sorry for what? Oh my god, it literally looks like a college campus that just got deserted. It must have been like where they slept and lived and stuff. Yeah, you can see. Look over there. On the top floor, you can still see the curtain. Everyone tries to put security, everyone tries to put police stations and stuff. There's so many signs of no trespassing it, and we literally just walk in. I know. Stairs. Let's go, let's go to the top. Oh, that's kind of creepy. That's like the first creepy thing I've seen. Oh, what the? Okay. One other side note as we were rolling up here. When I was researching everything, the only other videos and uh, advice from other explorers were watch out for other people that are uh, stationed here. Squatters and drug dealers. There's a lot of the same types of graffiti yeah. everywhere. Like gangs. Before we go any further and possibly get caught, we want to say thank you to War Robots for sponsoring this video and making this whole San Francisco trip possible. It's about a six hour drive up from Los Angeles to San Francisco and basically kept us occupied the entire time. It's pretty addictive. That's, we've only been playing this game. Alright guys, so it's super easy. I'm just running on in here, like playing 6v6 right now. I can shoot right on the right screen. I can jump. This guy's a ninja. I'm freaking blowing him up with rocks and stuff. I can even play with my friends. Like if Colby wanted to join in, he could. Easy multiplayer everything. Yes guys, it's a tactical 6v6 multiplayer. A huge variety of specialized robots with different skills which will help each player find their own style of play. Also has great 3D graphics and a big community with more than 70 million players who have already installed the game. So the game also has constant content updates so it's always evolving. There's always something different and yeah, it's always new. Destroyed! Oh god, that was really loud. 
We've been playing this for like nonstop four days, okay? If you want to join us and download War Robots, just use the link below. And if you use that specific link, then you get a bunch of bonus features all on us. So like, you know what? Why not start out with an extra bonus? In the store, there are a bunch of different robots you can choose from, and you can equip them with different guns. And especially if you get our bonus gold and silver tokens, it'd be really easy to upgrade. But yeah, guys, without War Robots sponsoring this video, it would not be possible. So big thanks to them. We are going to go explore more of this Fort Ord place right now. We did hear a couple more of those noises behind us while we're doing that, so let's get the frick out of here. <laughs> Bird just flew into the window. That was the funniest that was so scary. I wish I caught that on camera. We're just That's literally serious. standing here, like, talking, like, where should we go? And then, bam. <laughs> to that open door. That door's not open. That door's not open. Yeah, that open door. <laughs> Go exploring. Be hey, smart about be, it. Be smart about it. Okay, be safe. We gotta keep going. Yeah, let's make it to that one. Party and party and party and party and party. <laughs> That's what happened here, and this is why it looks like this. <laughs> Proof right there that this was actually where they slept. One day I will fade away. Remember me. That's our life story. Got no friends, just film. This was it, this is where they live. So we don't actually know where anything is in this place because we entered in the top right corner. This place is huge, like we said. We're just gonna try to get as high as possible, hopefully like on a roof of some place and just scout see, it out? yeah, scout it out where the police station is and then if there's anywhere that we can go. Why does that tennis ball look like a penis? We've been hearing those thuds like everywhere too. Okay. Yeah, honestly. We can go under that easily. You you wanna go under that? Here you go. Oh my god. What the f about this all this day? Alright, so how the crap are we gonna get on this road? It's like the top floor. Yeah. There always has to be what in either a stairwell or like a stairwell or like a main back office. There's always a way to a roof. Dude, it looks like Narnia. Actually, why does this always happen to us? Let's try to go to the roof and find a, a stairwell. Boom, got it, easy. I think we're fine for a second just to walk up here. I think I see the police station. You wanna go behind that tree over there? Over there? Yeah. yeah. Let's wait till this car passes. Wow. Made it to the other side of the building. I think these are just more barracks over here. There's that tennis court we saw. I don't see anything else besides this. There's a cop, there's a cop, there's a cop. There's a cop, there's a cop, there's a cop. I think you saw us, we're so hidden in those trees. But see, that's what we're talking about, is cops always patrolling this place. Go back into the barracks? Yeah, seriously. Okay. A lot of cars beaming out. Oh, sh dude, 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 he's turning around. Yeah. Go, 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 stay on the side. Go, go, go. Okay. Wait, do you hear that? Hey. Go, 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 go. Hey. 
us, right? No, it's definitely his first. If he turned around, wait, no, that's too far. That's too far. That is too risky, man. They were close. They're probably still looking for us. All right, we're back in the car. We did not see any cops on the way up here, so I think we pretty much should be good. Half of this place is a police ground. For some reason, we just get super lucky. Like, I know I'm probably jinxing ourselves, so knock on wood. Every time that we get seen by cops, for some Every reason, we time. get out. Maybe it's because they don't want to go in chasing after people because they don't know if yeah. like we have weapons. They like see us running, they know like, okay, that, they're just kids. They're like, just gonna get out, I don't whatever. know. Good thing that we look like we're 12, because right. uh, that probably helps us out a lot, actually. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. That being said, make sure you cop your uh, Explore merch, link in bio, and we'll see you next week with another video. Adios.